Twitter accepted a $44 billion takeover offer from Elon Musk on April 25th. The world is up in arms with many pledging to quit the platform now that Elon has made a promise to turn Twitter into a forum for free speech. After the acquisition deal was accepted, Elon tweeted his definition of free speech. He wrote, by free speech, I simply mean that which matches the law. I'm against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less free speech, they will ask government to pass laws to that effect. Therefore, going beyond the law is contrary to the will of the people. Well, big news like a social media takeover by the richest man in the world deserves a special timeout for discussion on the feisty news for women. Today, we have a debate between two feisty women, Robin Michaels, a retired Peace Corps volunteer and retired dog groomer, and Lisa Marie Monaco, an entrepreneur, mom of seven and feisty wife. Ladies, welcome to the feisty. What do you think about the breaking news that the world's richest man is now the owner of one of the largest social media networks in existence? I absolutely love it. I think he's brilliant. I think he's a genius. I love that he took Twitter by the platform. He's going to make a difference. He wants change. He's going to get change. Uh, balanced, free speech for everybody. Nobody should be banned from their opinion um, at all, ever. And I think he wants to see that change. He's very inspiring. And it, it's going to bring major, major changes. And I think there's more that he's going to uh, bring us besides this. And I am sort of skeptical that we're going to get positive change. I understand what he's saying, but at my, from my perspective, it looks like the guy with the most money is going to have the biggest voice. And uh, we're, we're seeing that in politics in my own neighborhood where billionaires are coming in and paying politicians to run, don't really care what their platform is. They're just not the other guy or the incumbent. And that's what I'm wondering about uh, Musk. Is he going to sort of overpower Twitter? And uh, I worry about that. No, he's going to give everybody free speech, balanced. Doesn't matter if you're left, doesn't matter if you're right, doesn't matter what your thoughts are. Your thoughts are going to you know, be put out there on that platform and you will not be banned. And I understand that. And we're going to have a whole bunch of people who are saying ridiculous stuff with authority, seeming like they do know what they're talking about. And unfortunately, there's just too many people who listen to stuff and can't discern what's real and what's BS. And I don't know that I would have them be banned, but I would sure have a disclaimer that says this is not true if it goes up. <laughs> I disagree. I think it's going to be inspiring. Um, he's going to create a level of you know, balance for everybody. Um, we already have ridiculous things out there. <laughs> people are already saying ridiculous things. Um, it, th I believe the wrong people are being banned for it. You know, let everybody have their opinion. Let everybody say their piece. And then, you know, it's up to us to see and, and hear what we want to believe, I guess, so to speak. Um, but people that are being banned for their opinion, not good. And I, and I hope that he takes on more, you know, bring Facebook to it too. <laughs> I tell you, I, yeah. I, I've been an anarchist. And uh, on one hand, they say if uh, we, we tend to say if voting changed any, everything, they'd make it illegal. But having worked as a planner and worked in other places in the world where people have no access, I feel your right to freedom ends where your responsibility to your community begins. And if you feel that your community is all totally wrong and you have the right opinion and you have more access to getting your opinion out, I feel that's, that's dangerous, mm -hmm. but that, I know that's how the world's evolving. I think it remains to be seen if this is going to be a positive uh, development, but my experience has been the rich guys come in and they put out a message and I even wonder why they let them advertise on TV, you know, but you're right. Everybody's opinion is out there. And this is yep. what we get when we have free speech. I think the reason why he did this is because he's tired of 
people not being able to express themselves and being banned. I believe that this is going to be a really great, inspiring thing. I, I don't think he's going to take it over. I think he's going to allow people this platform to express their thoughts. And that is a brilliant thing to me. Absolutely. And I, I feel very cautious about this. Uh, I feel it could be very dangerous by being laser fair and saying, no matter what you want to say, you're welcome here because it does influence a lot of people. Mm. Thank you, ladies, for your feisty views. I'm curious to see what Elon is going to do with this platform. We'll just have to wait and see.